hi and welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk to you about Charlotte Tilbury's makeup line. Charlotte has been involved in every single tiny step of the way of creating every product, every texture, every piece of packaging, every brush, every tip, every, everything and uh, it's just the most amazing range. The problem is it's quite getting quite hard to get hold of because it is so fantastic it's selling out fast. Today I'm going to do the rock chick, or at least I'm going to try. Okay, so I don't unfortunately have Charlotte's base, so I've already put um, a base on my face and I've actually used Garnier BB cream because I love it and I don't like wearing heavy, heavy makeup. I've also used Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, which is one of my favourite products because you can use it everywhere, you can use it under the eyes, around the nose, on spots. If you haven't got time to put foundation on, you can just touch up your face. This is a fantastic product. The major focus for the Rock Chick, obviously, are the eyes. This is Charlotte's infamous Kate Moss Smoky Eye Nude Lip Look. Um, this is an amazing liquid eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. It is called the Feline Flick. And instead of having those little pots of like runny ink, which don't create a good flick, this creates brilliant flicks, if you can see that. And it's really easy to use and it lasts all day. So I'm going to try this now. Charlotte suggests when you're doing your liquid eyeliner to put a dot where you want your liquid eyeliner to end. So I've done that there. She also suggests going right into the corner of the eye. Now, I'm no makeup artist, but that is quite easy to use. Uh, and the other eye. Now, I would say that this eyeliner is fairly foolproof. Because it doesn't have any sort of gloopiness. It's like a very sharply tipped felt tip pen. So I've done two wings on my eyes. The next thing Charlotte suggests is use her cold pencil and rim underneath the eyes. So I'm going to do that. I don't have her cold pencil because again, that's very, very popular, but I do have an Elizabeth Arden eyeliner. This one's actually in brown because I do find black quite harsh on me. So that's, again, quite hard, but um, we are going for a rock chick look. Okay, so next, Charlotte suggests using her rock chick eye palette. This is a very clever eye palette because on the back it says, Prime Enhance Smoke and Pop. So if you look on the inside, that could be Prime Enhance Smoke and Pop. So, and it's coded 1, 2, 3, 4 on the back and 1, 2, 3, 4 on, on the inside. So, first of all, you use the prime. Uh, so that goes over the lid. It's like a very pale, sort of dusty grey. And then next, use the enhance. Charlotte suggests using this to smudge the socket line, but also the hard line um, of the eyeliner. I use the dark shade, which is the smoke shade, to go over the top of the eyeliner and blend it a bit so it's not quite as hard. So really it's a smoky flick rather than a hard flick. Everybody wants Charlotte to do a smoky flick on them because it's the sort of the, the sexiest eye look. And it's, her, it's the one she's probably most famous for. And then she uses it also under the eye to soften that line as well. Uh, so that's that. 
Charlotte then uses Full Fat Lashes, which is her amazing mascara. It says curl, separate, volume, length, and drama. And uh, basically everyone knows the story about Charlotte, that when she was younger she discovered mascara, and it totally changed her life because uh, she felt very plain before she had mascara and then when she wore it she felt that she got noticed and boys started liking her and that sort of thing. So mascara is very very important to Charlotte. I don't really see any point of mascara that um, doesn't really do anything to your lashes so I think this is probably one of the best I've ever tried. I think Charlotte suggests a couple of coats. Next, Charlotte recommends using her fabulous lip liner. Now this is called Lip Cheat and it says reshape and resize lip liner. So she suggests using it to enhance the shape of your lips, change the shape of your lips, just make them a tiny bit bigger by drawing on the edge of your lips. So that's her nude lip liner, which is barely there, but very, very clever. And now here is Charlotte's Nude Kate lipstick. This is going to be probably one of the best sellers in her range. It is named after Kate Moss, surprise, surprise. And basically Charlotte used to always use this nude color on Kate Moss that she mixed herself and she used concealer and a rose colored lipstick. So she decided to put that all together and basically create the perfect Kate Moss nude, which is this. Um, so I'm going to apply that. And it's a great colour because it's the perfect nude shade without being too pink or too brown. Um, it doesn't wash you out too much either. And then finally, Charlotte has these amazing cheek to chic blushes. It's a bit of a mouthful, and they're called Swish and Pop. Now they're very clever because the way Charlotte applies blusher is you swish round the colour of a lighter shade, like this. And then the colour in the centre is the colour that Charlotte uses to pop the cheeks, make it a little bit brighter. Um, um, this is a shade that actually I think you can sort of use all over your face to give it a bit of a sculpt. And there we have it. Charlotte Tilbury Rock Chick Nude.